Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead in the Box. My name is Leah and I'm super thankful to have you here. Um, hello to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for choosing to click the subscribe button and to follow along in this journey with me. Uh, I am very grateful for each and every one of you and I just wanted to say that real quick in the beginning of this video. However, today's video, I'm really just going to kind of catch up and uh, I'm going to get some things planted in the garden, but just really just catch up on how things have been. It's been really busy. I don't know about you all, but it's been really, really busy here. Not necessarily with the garden, but just the garden included, but just a lot of things on the homestead. Um, the pigs went to be harvested. I've got them back the other day. I've got new broiler birds in. I know I said I wasn't going to raise Cornish crop. Cornish cross anymore however we did order some and not only are we raising them for us but we're going to be raising them for three other families so that's really cool uh, I've had that going on um, my turkeys are getting big I've had turkey drama I mean it's just been busy uh, I've had birthdays things like that so life has just been here and it is it have been it is reflected that in my garden and in this video I took I'm going to show you all my garden yesterday really was totally overgrown and just way just crazy I was so embarrassed by it however I also know that life happens and your garden is a reflection of the work that you put in it and it was a complete reflection of the work that I had not put in it and so I'm going to put a little video here that I took yesterday of a walk through my garden because I'm really proud of what my garden looks like today so here's that video real life garden update <laughs> so basically I'm cleaning out uh, my garden today uh, it's pretty grown up down here. Most everything I have now are in the beds, um, but I am going to be cleaning all of this up, emptying all of the grow bags and re-amending them and putting them in fresh clean bags and really just cleaning up my garden. But this is just real life for you. Uh, I mean, we're going to make it better. So, uh, after doing all of that yesterday, I am happy to say that my garden looks much more beautiful today, and I am going to take you through a stroll through it so you can see. I did my chickens, I'm telling you, <laughs> they are just like so bored right now. Uh, I had some plant starts. I'm going to go back to walking through my garden, but I have to tell you this, I had so I started a bunch of plant starts for my garden, and for some locals and I stuck them up real high that way none of the chickens would get them and Ricky Lake ended up making a snack of them um, and I've been integrating some of the other birds in with the egg layers because they're all starting to lay eggs now and so I don't know if they're just like paying me back for like moving some new girls in or what but oh my goodness anyway so I Yesterday, that was my garden, and I worked really hard, and I have minimized my garden down to what I'm using in this fall and winter, uh, because after the first frost comes and all of my winter squashes are wiped out, I will no longer be using the garden that's directly in front of the house. I'll just be using the one that's over to the right-hand side, the one I grew in last winter. Um, it's easier to maintain. It's easier to cover with frost cover things. 
So, with that being said, uh, let's go take a walk through my garden since you've seen what it looked like yesterday. Let's go see what it looks like today. I've torn out all of the tomatoes except for this lucky tiger. And I'm not even really a huge fan of the tomato, uh, but it's I like the way they look. So, I've got some squashes growing. I'm starting to trellis them up these cattle panels. Uh, these cattle panels are a little taller than what I would normally recommend, but they're working. I trimmed back my basil. I'm going to be making some homemade pesto and freezing it. Tomatoes. Super cool. And then I've just got my squashes growing. Uh, and these ha I, I planted at different stages. So the smaller ones are two weeks behind the other ones. I also have made some fertilizer. I'm going to come in and fertilize everything. These are acorn squash. Super interesting. I've never even tried acorn squash, so I hope I like it. My okras are growing. This is a late harvest of okra. And then I just picked all of my Nottapino plants yesterday um, because I wanted them in an omelet. But my pepper plants are still doing really good. Uh, I also tore out most of my big tomatoes. I got a lot of uh, green tomatoes. I'll put a picture so you can see how many green tomatoes I got. Um, but you can see I, 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 I brought the fence in to make this top of half of my garden smaller. Because all of those bags down at the bottom, they all need to be amended and... The soil's not going to be really used until spring, but my marigolds are still looking good. This is, again, a succession sowed, so you can see how much this one has grown. This squash, pretty sure this is a butternut squash, I believe, but it looks awfully odd. But, and then you can see where I planted this one two weeks later. So, uh, it's got some growing to do. And they all need, everything needs to be fertilized. Uh, I did leave these two uh, tomato plants in the ground because they are just putting off tomatoes. I mean, uh, and I believe that they're going to put them off enough to, they'll get big enough to where they'll ripen. So, I did leave them. Um, and then I've got my cucumbers, which are kind of in the shade of these tomato plants, uh, which is <laughs> why I have debated on pulling them out. But the tomatoes that they're putting off are just really getting too big to just tear that out. And they didn't do very good at all this summer in the heat, especially the, I had three here that did not do very good because Bessie, right after I planted them, chewed them up. But anyway, here is my cucumbers I'm starting to trellis. Those are looking good. And all of my marigolds are so beautiful. And little babies are popping up everywhere. Like, look at this little baby marigold popping up. It's so pretty. And then these ones, they almost look like mums to me. <laughs> but I'm going to be planting... You come down here, you can see, like I said, I made it smaller. I'm going to be putting feed sacks in here today, right throughout here with carrots. And then I'm going to be planting some uh, frost-hardy beans here. And I'm just going to kind of make little small trellises for them, like TP trellises. And I'll post that on my social media, so make sure to check that out. Uh, I left this half-dead squash plant over here to deter the squash bugs to that plant so that hopefully that they'll stay out of my garden uh look how pretty this marigold is they're so pretty i grew all of these from seeds i didn't buy any flowers for my gardens i grew all the flowers from seed so don't let people discourage you uh, and the people that do discourage you, you don't really need them in your circle anyway. Fill your circle up with people who encourage you, not discourage you. Um, you. Plant some food. If you've had it in your heart to plant some food, you can plant some. Like, I'm still starting things from seeds. Lettuces, spinaches, kales, mustard greens, uh, turnips, beets, all sorts of those things. Speaking of, let's walk over here and take a look at my garden that I planted in my last YouTube video just to show you how fast 
seeds want to grow how quick things and want to grow food wants to grow it really does all right well i need to pick my zucchini i've been making zucchini bread which is phenomenal i need to get those squashes picked but here is some squash i planted last time and then behind the squash you see all of those little green things down here those are all radishes i planted radishes all along this side of this bed but this is the main bed that i planted okay and i've got beets turnips mustard greens radishes some kale and i just planted some beans over here and these i planted three things of beans here and i'm actually going to come in and i'm going to sow some carrots down here at the end where i know that's good loomy deep soil uh, i'm going to sow some carrots at the end today just to see if that works so this is a garden I planted a week ago. Seven days, friends. Seven days. Radishes, things like that, they only take like three to four weeks to grow come from seed to harvest. So over here, all of my garden beds are covered in fence because they have to be. Uh, this is the bed I'm going to be planting in today. I'm going to be planting my radicchio, some kale, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli. Uh, Ricky Lake, like I said earlier, ate most of everything else. And let's just take a look at the green stock here. It's growing. I just turned it today, so this stuff is going to be thicker over here. So these are uh, Simpson lettuce is what this is. They are great for just cut and come back again salads. You can put them on hamburgers, anything like that. It's really a great lettuce. It's a fast growing lettuce. Like I could already cut these and put them on a burger or something. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to show you all these, but this is what is left out of, out of three trays. Uh, this is what Ricky Lake did not eat. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Epic fell on my part. Uh, I do take full responsibility of it because I thought maybe I could trust her. Well, honestly, I didn't think that she would get up there and eat them. I just really didn't, but she did. So that is what is left out of three full trays of seeds that I get to plant but I did start some more uh, however protect your seeds from your chickens thank you all so much for coming and hang out with me today taking a look at my garden yesterday and what a little bit of hard work can do for your garden uh, your garden I've said it many times is a reflection of the work that you put into it uh, and sometimes it'll make you feel bad but I just use that as motivation you know I don't beat myself up about it because life happens to all of us every single one of us even the ones that their life on social media looks beautiful and perfect and things like that like life just happens friends so you're no i'm no different than you are okay life happens and my garden looks like crap for it but i took a day of work and i put some work in and obviously like i said i have more work to put in today and we'll be back in shape just like that so uh, if you've been hard on yourself and your garden's grown up and it looks like crud and you're just kind of feeling bad about it, you know, just breathe, take a minute and go tackle your garden. Put your headphones in, listen to an audiobook, some music, uh, go plant some things in your soil. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and choosing to be a part of this journey with me. I'm grateful for each and every single one of you. Thank you so much. I'm sending you good vibes as always. Send some to somebody that you know. And I'll see you all later.